Howdy y'all, Fuzzy Biker here at Baxter Cycle. Look what we found today. Isn't that just a beautiful looking machine? This is a Scrambler 1200 XC, Goldline Edition. This beautiful red, isn't that just gorgeous? Black, silver, just phenomenally good looking. High quality, gorgeous. I can't go on enough about this thing. Look at the strap, the Monza cap. And by the way, it's still a lockable gas cap. You know, the paintwork is just phenomenal on these bikes. These Gold Line editions are really just wow, you know. Anyway, it's a 1200 Scrambler, the XC. There's the XE. The XE is two inches taller than the XC. These are powered by a 1200 single overhead cam, four valve per cylinder, so eight valves, high torque engine. Puts out uh, 89 horsepower and about 81 foot pounds of torque. The, foot, the torque is at full torque at uh, 4,500 RPM. And I think I found a power curve that uh, at 2,500 RPM, you're already at 70 foot pounds of torque. So just loads of torque. And I've, I've driven the XC before and it does have just all kinds of torque. Very, it has a very visceral feeling, a very good, kind of a gritty feeling, gravelly, whatever you want to call it. But uh, back to the looks. So you've got these neat covers, this beautiful line, this beautiful pipe. That's one of the main things about this bike is this pipe. Now this bike was ridden about an hour ago and this, you know the whole thing is cool. the pipes warm back here but the guards are all cool and uh, when I rode this bike, not this particular one, um, this part got warm but it never got hot. So it's well done. I love all the work they went to to get this to look just right. Just everything is, you know, the coloring, the heart here, this this all this I think that's the brake reservoir in there there's where you check your oil just everything is just wow it's got an aluminum swing arm just a gorgeous aluminum swing arm look at this detail here just everything is beautiful uh, let's go to the front I think it's a show off fork on the front it's got 45 millimeter show off fork fully adjustable in every way inverted about eight inches of travel, a little less than that, I think. The big Brembo brakes. M50. The, the big M50 Brembo brakes. Four piston, monoblock, floating disc. The discs are uh, 320 millimeter. Just gorgeous. Just This is art in itself, by the way. This <laughs> To me, this is just art in itself. The rims are aluminum on these bikes. That's a lot lighter than steel. Uh, keeps the mass down. The tire is a 21 inch tire on the front. 90, 90, 21 on the front. And if you've ever driven something with a 21, it's just great, especially in the rough stuff. Likes to keep the bike upright. The rear tire, again, an aluminum rim, 150, 70, 17. Chain drive, of course, by the way. The shocks on the back are Olin's, and they too are fully adjustable. Well, look at that travel. You know, about eight inches of travel, maybe a little less. You know, here's the big brother with the uh, Olin's also. But yeah, just, just a gorgeous thing. Wheelbase is about 60 inches, a little over maybe. Tank is uh, 4.2 gallons, and these are supposed to get a little over 50 miles a gallon, so that's 200 range, 200 mile range. That's pretty darn good. Dry weight, 450 pounds. So you know, pretty good, pretty darn, pretty darn livable. I could live with that. The things I love about these bikes, the metal fenders. You know, it comes with the. This this one has a brown seat to match in with this. The, you know, the, again, the details are always done right on a Triumph. Uh, what would I do if I got this bike myself? I would probably get the raised fender kit. They have a raised fender kit you can get for this. Uh, we were talking with the, some of the fellows here. They, they like the crash bars that come with this. There's a bike over there with that. I'll try to get some shots of that. Otherwise, I think it's pretty good. Um, look at that. Isn't that just gorgeous? Look at the ends of these pipes. The triple look. The beautiful brown seat, the metal brush fenders, the beautiful red tank with the strap and the Monza cap. Then we come up here and let's see what we can do with this. See if I can get her to come to life. Good afternoon, rider. Scrambler 1200. 7,000 RPM red line. Um, I, I, I just love this stash. This whole thing is just gorgeous. I haven't played with this yet, but uh, here's the M button. That's the mode button. Uh, looks like we have six modes. Road, 
That's okay, right here are the modes. Road, sport. I'm not sure what that means. Mountain maybe, or <laughs> off-road. Uh, rider mode and rain mode, looks like five modes. Uh, gear indicator up yonder, range, all kinds of neat stuff here. Uh, a lot of things are controlled with this joystick. Let's see what we can do with that. That brings us back to home. But uh, anyway, look at that, isn't that just easy to read? We're in rain mode right now. The fuel, fuel gauge, the gear indicator, time up here, all kinds of things here. Just beautiful, beautiful. And I love the switch gear. I love, you know, all of this. I think I could learn to live with this joystick. That's kind of an interesting thing, but uh, very well done. And these bikes have cruise control, by the way. Flash to pass, adjustable uh, brake lever, adjustable clutch lever. I love the front ends of these bikes too, by the way. I love the headlights on all these Triumphs. I would say, you, you know, you can't, uh, can't really see the detail on the GoPro. I'm trying to get it to shut off. There we go. You can't really see the detail with the GoPro it washes out. So get yourself down to Baxter Cycle or any other Triumph dealer and check it out. Just gorgeous. Isn't that neat? Um, kill switch, start switch. And again, as always, everything is just well done. I mean, look, look at the detail in all this. Here's how you adjust your forks. The forks are fully adjustable. The shocks in the rear are fully adjustable. All ones. Just a beautiful machine. Just a beautiful machine. Um, I love these bikes. These are, I'm really torn between the Scramblers and the Tigers because the, the Tigers are wonderful. They got the good protection and all that stuff. The Scramblers have the great looks. Just absolutely phenomenal looks. Okay, y'all, get yourselves down to Baxter Cycle and check one out. Wahoo!